In this video, we will create a script that contains the tree data. It's often useful to have a script which contains your data so that you don't have to re-enter that data into the command window every time you want to work with it. Now the first thing that we need to do is create a new M file. There's a couple of ways to do this. You can go up to File, New, Script. You can also just click on this button right here which will create a new script or you can press control N. So notice when I want to create a new script it opens up a new sub window within MATLAB. So I'm going to type commands into this script editor and then I'll run the script down in the command window. Alright so the only thing that I'm going to put in this script is the data, the tree data, depth at breast height and trees per acre. So I'm going to call the depth at breast height and put that all in an array called dbh. So 22.9, and 38.0. And then I'll also put in the trees per acre data in an array called TPA. So that's 31.5, and 11.4. All right, so I've entered the data. The next thing I have to do is I need to save my script file. So how do we save it? We go up to File, Save, and a little window will pop up asking what we want to save it as. So we're going to save it as an M file, and let's call it tree data. So tree underscore data dot M. So I'm going to save that file. Now you should note that the location in which it, this file is saved is in the current folder. So if we look over at this tab, current folder, we should see that tree data is now one of the files within the current folder. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is execute our file. We now have a file that contains a series of commands and when we execute this file in the command window it will run all of the commands, well it's only two, but it'll run all of the commands in the file in the order in which they are given. So it'll first run this first line, the dbh, and then it'll run the second line. So it will create the array dbh and then it will create the array tpa. So if we come down to the command window the way that we execute our script file is by typing in the name of the script file without the .m after it. So we'll type tree mm, underscore data and press enter. So you can see it first creates the dbh array and then creates the tpa array. So here are the two arrays and if we look over in the workspace we see the two arrays listed here and we can see various attributes of those arrays. Now suppose we didn't want to see the output of the arrays, we could have suppressed that by having semicolons after these two commands. So I've just added these semicolons. If I save the file and run it again, the output won't be there. So I'm going to save the file by pressing Control S, so that saves the file, and then I'm going down in the command window to run tree data again. So I'm going to press the up arrow to get the last command that I entered. Press enter. And you can see there's no output, which is exactly what I wanted to happen. So now that we have created these two arrays, I can work with them just as if I had created the arrays in the command window. So let's say I want to find the maximum depth at breast height and then find the corresponding trees per acre for that particular data point. So I'm going to use the max function. 
and it turns out that the max function actually has two outputs. So as we've used it before, we've only seen one output. So for example, if I type in max of dbh, it tells me that the maximum value of that array is 39.7. However, there's a hidden second output, and you have to ask for that second output explicitly if you want to see it. The second output is the index of the maximum value of the array, so it tells us what position the maximum value is within the array. So if there are 10 values in this array and the maximum is 39.7, it should give us back that that value is in the ninth position. So here's how we get that. In square brackets, we need to name the two values that we want to get back. So I want the maximum dbh and I want the index, which I'm going to call i, or let, let's call it index. And then I'll, say, I'll set those equal to max of dbh. All right, so the first output it's going to give me is the maximum value. The second hidden output is the index of that maximum value within the array. So I'm going to press enter. And you'll see we have that maximum value again, and the index is now equal to the position within the array uh, that 39.7 is within the dbh array. So now, if we want to find the corresponding trees per acre for this tree that has a depth at breast height of 39.7 inches, we can access the ninth position in the TPA array. So we can do this by typing TPA of index. And we get 10.5. So this means the tree that had a depth at breast height of 39.7 inches was in a tract of forest that had 10.5 trees per acre. So to recap, you should now know how to create a script M file, execute that script M file, and then work with any variables that are created from that script. And additionally, we learned that the max function has a second secret hidden output that you can access by asking for both outputs explicitly.